Last time we already created a simple chat app that can communicate real time. So when this one say hello, and the other side also can see the message. However, when we refresh the page, all the message already lost. So in order to help us to store the message, in this video, we are going to learn how to add the MongoDB to store the history of the message. So let's go to set up the MongoDB. We are going to use the MongoDB Atlas, and we are going to sign in, and we can sign in with Google. And if this is the first time you access the MongoDB, you may also see this page, and we click on the accept the privacy and click submit and then we go to create an organization and we type the name and then click next and then we go to create organizations and then we click new project now we can go to build a cluster and now we choose the free version create a cluster and you can see this is also free so now we are going to create a cluster you can choose the name but we stick to the cluster zero and your cluster is being created and this may take some time now we are going to create a database by clicking the collections and then we choose add my own data set and then we name it as message database and the collection is message now we go to click on the database access so we can access the database so we add the new database user and we name the username is CK Mobile and the password is password123 and then we add the user the password is too big so we try another password and then add user First, we need to install the mongoose, so we type npm install mongoose and then we go to the server .js and on the top, we are going to import the mongoose so we use constant mongoose is equal to required mongoose and then since we are going to connect to the MongoDB, so we have to get the link. So at here, we can press connect. And then click on the connect to your applications. And then we get this link. And then we type constant MongoDB is equal to. And then the password is CK mobile. 123 and the database name is message database and you can refer to this collections this is message database and then we are going to connect to this mongodb so we need to type mongoose dot connect mongodb dot then and then we console.log connected now if we type nokmon server to start the server you can see there is some warning so we have to pass this to the options of the mongoose.connect so we have to back to the mongodb here and then press comma and then we also need to copy this one now you can see the warning already gone and also we can type catch error now we go to here and create a folder called models and then we inside the models we create a file message.js and then first we are going to import the mongoose and now we are going to create a model for the message and then we are going to create a schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema and the message 
we know the type is string and also we set it as required to be true and then we set the constant message is equal to mongoose dot model and then we pass the schema here and at last we have to export these models so we can use in the other files now we already create a model so we can back to the server.js and import the model by using constant msg is equal to required models and message and then now on the receiving the chat message instead of just emit the message first we have to save the message first so now we type constant message is equal to new message and then we pass this message inside this model uh, because we have set this as message and actually we can type this so we can pass this message to this property but since they are the same so we can just simplify to be just message here now we use message.save.then and then we are going to emit this message after saving the message now we can try this to see whether we can save the message so first we type hello and then we type again how are you here now we back to the mongodb and press refresh you can see instead of saving to the message it's saved to the msgs here this is because when we are going to the model this file we set this as msg so it will add the s at the end and then create a collections so this actually is referring from the message model here so now we can delete this and you also can see the message already can stored inside the mongodb so now instead of just storing the message we are going to emit this data to the client when it starts the connections so you can at the start of the connections and then type msg dot find and then dot then and then we emit since we are going to emit this client so we need to use socket dot emit rather than io dot emit the io dot emit it emits to all the connected users so we just want to emit to this client so we use socket dot emit and then we set the name as output message and then we pass the result here and since this is just one argument so we can delete the bracket now we can go to the client because we want to receive this message so we can go to the client.js and we can duplicate this one but this time the event name is output message and first thing we try to output the data first to see whether it can pop up the message so now if we refresh the page and go to the console now you can see there are two data and which are the message that we just typed before so now the next thing is we are going to append this message to this chatbot so at here we can check the length so if data dot length so if just means there are message here if there are message here so we are going to use the for each load and we type the data and we type the message and then we append the message and as you can see the message is msg so we has to use 
message.msg. Now, if we refresh the page, now you can see the history here. So now we can try to refresh both sides and continue chatting. Now, even we refresh the page, you can see the message still here rather than just an empty chat box. So this is how to implement the MongoDB to our simple chat box.